Thanks for joining me again. I thought I'm going to jump straight into a light district scene today. With a little distant mountain and like a little little bridge somewhere in the foreground. So it just pops a bit of water on it just to so that it'll um, stretch evenly. And this is just straight raw sienna. Next is going to be a bit of ultramarine blue. And this will just create the, uh, the blue sky you can see between the clouds. I'm just going to bring that down there. Something like that. Clean the brush. And then a few little clouds. I'm just going Lizard in Crimson and Payne's Grey. these quite small so I don't want too many I just it just eat in there just to add a bit of bit of flavour that's all I'm gonna do for that it'll be down there right now I'm gonna put in some of these distant mountains um, I'm just gonna make this flat just flat against the board. I did wet it just slightly before I started painting actually. Reason I did some pencil lines on there but I didn't like it so I, I, I tried to rub them off with the brush. Um, distant mountain. So I'm doing the same colours as the sky. This one's going up there. That's up there. And then down into the foothills, watching that water soak at the bottom, just soaking it off with the brush. And what I might do, just using the car, just, just a little. Hints of some rocks and paper's too wet actually. I've over wet it, but I'll carry on. It's no real hardship. In fact, whoop. Give it a quick draw. That's enough. Right. I'm just going to clean the brush. I'm just going to get a bit of lemon yellow. Bit of grass growing up the side of these hills and mountains all the way across. They're all submarine now just to change it slightly. Bit of paint's grey, bit of to really darken it. And these are gonna be like little little trees growing up the side. Clean the brush because I want to go back to a lighter colour. So I'm going back to lemon yellow below the trees. Bit of raw sienna, big dollar of it. Touch of ultramarine, raw sienna. I'm going to come down to maybe like a little gate, gate in front of her. And that's going to be, I'm going to put like a little bridge, bridge in there. So 
I'm just coming down to where the bridge is going to go. Let's just make a bit of yellow, a bit of Payne's grey. Just get these trees a bit stronger. Flick it up with the corner of the brush. Clean the brush back to a light colour. A bit of lemon yellow, a bit of raw sienna. I think I'm ready now to put this bridge in. So what I'm going to do, is no need to clean the brush because I'm going dark now. I'm just going, just dipping the belly corner, just to make the brush, a bit more water in the brush. I'm just going burnt umber, ultramarine, that's a bit too wet. So I'm just dabbing it in the tissue I've got here on, on my tray. Burnt umber, ultramarine, and let's, I'm going to go back there. Just going over there like that. So the bridge sort of goes up. Across. I'm just getting the top in first so I can work out how the rest of it's going to go. Right, let's get the archway in. So that's archway is something like that. Over there, like that. And what I'll do, I'll just use the card just to scrape a few stones out, just make it look a bit more like a stone, stone effect. A bit raw sienna. Right, let's get this shape right. That's Needs to be a bit square on the top. Needs to be like a like a wall or something that then continues. Continues up up into the hills. So Let's just pull this flat. And I'm going to get me a piece of card. If I can find it there, there it is. And let's start off with the uh, sort of bricks around the archway. Still a bit wet, so I'm just going to give it a very quick dry. a little bit better now. So these are the bricks go around the archway. So I'm just making a basically it's just a semicircle shape. And then we got some bricks that go across the top. I'll start from the side actually I'll Just, just the odd one here and there. Don't want to get too mad. Just trying to do these ones like, so I've done enough scraping out as it is. Just, just trying to give it just a very loose impression of, of stones and bricks and whatnot in this wall here. I just want to, underneath, because of the shadow, imagine 
just need to, to see a bit of a sort of darker bit of the red there. Again, sort of mix it makes it a bit more more three D looking. And then that All over there, and we'll just stick a, I don't know, a post or something in there. And then in there, we've also got, I'll we'll just clean the brush. Got a raw sienna, lemon yellow, a bit of grass coming in there. Switch this little flat brush, and we've got like a little fence, little gate, sorry. to walk through. Um, just get some lemon yellow, bit of raw sienna, just push that right up there. And just come down, push that up into the bridge. This looks like a bit of grass going up the up the side. Put more on the other side. You know, it looks like the bridge is now starting to sink into the landscape a bit now. And I'm just going to pull down. Actually, it's like... Ugh. Now, I think I'll wet it and then I'll pull down some reflections, I think. Wet it first and then pull down the reflections. In first, and then I'll, I'll want a little path for I'll, I'll put the path in afterwards. Uh, let's clean the brush. A little path, I'm thinking, bit of, bit of ultramarine, bit of light red. I'll go, bit of, bit of red. Ultramarine. And then so it just sort of comes around there like that, sweeps round. And then just just a little just the other little stone in there, just to define this. Because I've already done too much scraping. Um, now you can see, don't forget, there's a bit of, you can see the far bank through the bottom of the bridge, so always remember to put that in. This water out and then I'm going to pull some reflections down. So I don't want it too wet, just a little bit of water. Right, and then when it's wet, let's clean the brush because I've got water already on the paper. I don't want to even more on the brush, it'll just get too wet. Um, back to those bridge colours, a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Of 
Und jetzt die Kräuter auch und so weiter. Like that water up. So that's the brief reflection, and then we just got just reflect a little bit of the grass. And just pull that down on the other side. And then what I'm gonna do is just a very light dry. A bit of just right on the on the edge of the shore, just to define the, the land and the, uh, the water a bit better. Definitely need is a figure. I'm just going to switch to the little brush. I'm just going to give him some light red. Um, where should we put him? I'm going to put him by the gate there. So I'm getting. He's the body. I'm just going to give him some ultramarine and just pop the legs in. There's the one leg. There's the other leg. Pop the head on there while I'm doing it. There's just a little figure there. Just gives it a focal point to the to the scene. And pulls out. Very quickly dry it's one of those two boils. Right. Let's see what it looks like with a bit of frame on it. A mount rather. So here's the mounts around our little um like district scene. So let's go and have a closer look at it. Um starting with the sky. Paper was too wet basically and it's it's everything's got very diluted. I might try one. Uh, I might try one tomorrow and not not wet the uh, wet the paper and just see how it turns out. You know, get get some stronger colours. The distant hills, mountains, very very soft because the paper was still wet. See, so no shard pages. Um, looks a bit out of place now, doesn't it? Where I sort of scraped that one with the card. Then we got our trees going off into the mountain foothills. Again, the paper was still quite wet, so very soft edges there, everything blending in. Then we got our bridge, very simple bridge. Um, just a simple sort of archway there, and then just I've just blocked it in in ultramarine, uh, burnt umber, a little bit of dollops of raw sienna, you can see it in there. Um, and then I just sort of scraped Use the card, just scrapes out the bricks that go around the archway. A few more across the top. And then I've tried to be as subtle as I can for the bits in the middle because I, I didn't want to sort of overdo it with the scraping. Remember to put the uh, the underside in, just gives it that sort of 3D effect. And then I just wetted the water just to put a simple reflection underneath just to create the, uh, the bridge impression. Now those who watched yesterday's, um, well actually it was a day before, I missed, I missed one yesterday, then I apologise for that. Um, the path, I sort of, the last painting, I put the path in and then brought the land up to it and it just doesn't look right. This time I did it how I normally do it, 
put the land in first and then I put the path over the top of it and it just seems to blend in better into the landscape. A few little scrapes here to create a few little rocks to help define the path from the grass. But again, weary of doing too much scraping because there's, there's, a, there's a fair amount in the bridge. And then finally our little figure there walking through the gate. Uh, I forgot to put his dog with him unfortunately, but never mind. So that's it for today's um, painting. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done already. I've got new videos every weekday. You can help me by liking and sharing and commenting in the, uh, the video below. Um, keep practicing. I'll be back again tomorrow. So best wishes and I'll see you again soon.